Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Grandia 3. Last time, we got swindled by Alonzo, and now everyone's forgiven him, and he, everyone's kind of happy that we got to go kind of with him and, I guess, cheat, out cheat the cheater next time we go back to Casino. Why not? It was an involuntary action. I can only control my anger to a certain point. What did he say? I just saying the same thing. Okay. What did he say? You're tired, call it a day. Uh, no, I still want to uh, explore some things. Don't go too far. No, I didn't want to do that. Or do I want to go out there now? I can't remember. Normally I would uh, figure this out ahead of time, but whatever. Anyway, um, I know we eventually can play this minigame on our own. I don't think we can do it right now. And the door leading out of town has been blocked off at this point. But if we go back in here... Stop pounding the table. Two sixes. You lost again. No. Uh, it's not... Yeah. Pretty confident. Starting fee is 50G. No, I think I'll pass. What about you? Never would have. Sounds like you've had a rough time of things, too. Smells like it, too. What could have driven you to drink like this? No going back. Never would have guessed. Transformed in a day. You are a terrible father. Jeez. A horrible person. Um, do I talk to you? No, no, it's nothing. Yeah, I think everyone kind of figured that one out. Alonzo already knows. But he's apparently really stupid and he keeps playing anyway, even though he knows that she's cheating. If he had known this ahead of time, then he could have, you know, came up with a plan with Miranda that didn't involve betting the brooch to do this ahead of time so that he didn't have to become a giant jackass. But that would have been smart. Lips are sealed. All right, I don't think there's anything else we can do. Do you give it to me? Okay. So yeah, you can already play the game, I guess, but uh, we'll play it later, that's fine. For now, um, somebody gives us a free coin or a medal to play at that, but I think it's Alonzo at some point. So uh, we'll just go back and we'll call her a day for now. You could gamble at this point if you wanted to, but nah. So uh, head back in here. There is uh, one other, or a couple other things I'd like to, oh no, that's the wrong one. Let's try that again. Go back in the cabin. I do want to talk to Alonzo and I want to take a look at these things. Metal tube. It's a giant's pinky. Oh. You are a strange person. Take a look at the tusk. It's an animal. Wild beast. So you fought with it, huh? On the verge of starving to death, but thanks to walrus meat, live to tell the tale. Yeah, that's what you do. You eat things. No ordinary sea map there. Heart and soul, record of my life. It's a pretty cool idea. I like that. Uh, anything else I can talk to? Uh, no. Yeah, I will talk to Alonzo here. Even for you. 
sounded painful. You kind of deserved it, though. Yeah, there you go. He gives you one medal. Little token uh, to a world of thrill, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Let's, uh, let's go down to the bedroom and uh, recover. And saving would probably be a good idea, too. And, no, oh, right, we're supposed to talk to, uh, supposed to talk to Miranda in order to trigger that, aren't we? Yes. All right, let's take a nap. Worst day of my life. Hope tomorrow will be better. Yeah, now we get to go do the game and the cutscene and all that, and uh, later on, uh, we'll be able to head back and we'll be able to play uh, the gambling game ourselves. And I will go over that. Must be the casino. Looks like you overslept. But uh, yeah, we'll be able to uh, play the game for ourselves. And then I'll go over the strategy with which you watch a movie and uh, the game plays itself. And then you have a whole bunch of money that you can work with. Yay! You can't go over there. Though the shoreline looks kind of interesting. Alright. Into the casino. to lose this game and win my hand, Alonzo. Hmm. I gave you all my word as a sailor. Here and now, I'm putting myself on the line at this gaming table. The stakes are high. And if I lose, then I promise to marry Bianca. Huh? What? Marry her? What? You've got to be kidding. Marry her? I won't go along with this. All right, all right. That's enough chattering. Roll the dice, Alonzo. I can't wait for our honeymoon. All right. Lose my freedom. I'll lose most of my charm as well. Okay, enough of that uh, creepy stuff there. What that does, a double ones that will uh, give you a 10 times bonus. We'll go over more of the kind of rules of this afterward, but uh, anyway. Well, there's double again, or 10 times again. But now you need to hit three in a row in order to win. Well, there's one. There's two. Two cards you can get in order to win. Oh, looks like it was going to be the wrong one there. <laughs> now do your best, Alonzo, darling. After all, this is for our future, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Get your hands off my Alonzo, you little hussy! Distraction! That was your whole plan? To flick a peanut at a Alonzo dice. Alonzo wins! He did it! Alonzo won! That was your plan. Be quiet! You're an idiot! That should have been a 12. Why isn't it? Why, hmm? Miserable cheater, you tricked me, Alonzo! <sighs> so, you knew the dice were going to turn up a 12, did you? It's rigged! The casino's rigged! The game is over! You owe us about, um... Wow, I don't even know where to begin counting. You've got a problem. How are you going to pay for this? <laughs> I'll pay, I'll 
Now, Bay, quit worrying. Look! And if that's not enough, I can offer you my beautiful rings. If you want something, then earn it. It's not that hard. If you're a cheater, you'll never be anything but a loser. someone's love by cheating. Well, I hope she gets hers someday. I know how you feel. But don't be too hard on Bianca. I mean, she's only trying to get by. It's not easy for a woman to make it alone in a place like this. Had she and I met under different circumstances, then maybe... Huh? <laughs> hmm? Set sail! Everybody meet at the pier when you're ready. Now, that I actually really like, because it demonstrates that Alonzo isn't just there, you know, he's always been, you know, this, you know, smooth-talking, hustler kind of guy. We also got a trident for Alonzo, and the admiral uniform for Alonzo, so he's not completely underpowered anymore. And the brooch pack. But yeah, it... What he's doing there is he's demonstrating to Miranda that he's interested in drive when it comes to looking for women, as opposed to just, you know, looking at the outside, because they've obviously designed, uh, uh, what's her name, Bianca's character to not be physically attractive or, you know, personality-wise attractive either, but he appreciates the drive that she has in order to succeed. So I like the uh, development that we get for his character. Much better weapon, much better armor. And we already got his uh, boots there. And yeah, we'll work on other things later. Anyway, before moving on, we can exchange medals for prizes, including a staff of healing that I want to pick up before I go. However, in order to uh, play the game, we need medals. So we want to pick up a decent amount of uh, medals there. Um, you don't like you don't get a discount for buying higher amounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy 20, 40, 60 is probably good. Sure, that'll, that, that'll be good for now. You can buy more if you want, but uh, I'm going to be short on money in no time, so. And now we want to go save. Before starting this, I would rec highly recommend saving. If you're playing on an emulator, you're about to make yourself very happy because not only does this emulator have a built-in fast forward feature, it also has a built-in turbo feature. And that's all you need to win this game. It's not even so much a mini game as it is just, you know, an effort in patience. But anyway, let's, you have to go slightly to the right in order to activate this. Let's play the game here. Now, if you're using the widescreen mod, this, uh, it doesn't really glitch out, but it doesn't look quite right. So we're gonna bet 10 per round right now uh, until we get, you know, couple up to maybe five or six hundred and then we'll bet a hundred or you know we may bet 50 or whatever in the meantime whatever doesn't really matter so the way it works is you're trying to get uh, a straight basically this is four five six seven eight nine and then ten thing is with the widescreen mod this actually selects that card and this selects that card and it's just because the widescreen mod stretches things out a little bit, I think, in this case, or something like that. It's not a big deal, just something of note. Now, technically, um, I think making, well, 
let's uh, move that over there and that there. Nope, wrong one. Nope, that one. There we go. Technically, you have the highest percentage chance of winning this way. Do note that those red and blue cards, they just have a higher multiplier attached to them and you'll win more. Personally, I've had much faster luck doing it this way, even though technically your chances of winning each time are lower, your chances of winning more money are, actually, no, wait, what am I doing? No, I want it like this, right? Yeah, I want it like this. Te technically, your chances are higher winning with them out here on the edges like that, but uh, I would rather flip them in this way because it seems to work better for me uh, in the long run. So once you have that set up, we go done. And basically all you have to do is press the X button to roll. And that would have been a nine. Nine's one of the ones I took out. Actually, I kind of screwed up a little bit already. I will fix that in a moment here. But yeah, basically you just want to get three in a row. So now if I get either a four or a seven, I'll win money. There we go, I already won some money. And I got four times, so I already won 400 medals. That's extremely lucky, but uh, uh, let's see here. We will bet, sure, we'll bet 50 or whatever. And then, uh, let's see, we want to swap the four for the five. And we want to swap the 11 or the nine for the 10. Now, the ones in the middle have the highest chances of showing up based on statistics. And so the four has slightly lower chances of showing up than the five and the uh, 10 has a slightly lower chance than the nine. So that's why I've made that swap. Basically though, once you do this, all you have to do is just keep spamming over and over and over again. Now, of course, just to show me up, the game's going to do four twice just because, you know, it does. Now, if I get the seven, I get a bunch of money. See, I lose, I get nothing. So basically, we play over and over and over again. And this is basically all there is to the game. And if you set it up like this, once you get a few thousand, you're never going to run out. See, now if I get either a 11 or a three, I'll get 30 times the reward and I've got two shots at it. Of course, I probably won't get it. Now, the other thing is, is on the emulator, for some reason, it glitches out like you just saw. I don't know why it glitches out, but it does. But yeah, basically, this is all there is to the game. So if you, once you get, you know, do this for a little bit, and basically, like, normally when I got 400 like that, I would have saved, but I just, I'm doing this for demonstration purposes, so I'll get it all working on kind of my own time. Just keep playing and then saving as soon as you get a decent amount of stuff, and eventually you should get enough, or lose over and over again. You should get uh, a few thousand. I think the maximum you can bet is a thousand uh, chips per, or medals or whatever they are. Uh, once you have like, I don't know, over 10,000, you can bet a thousand per. Basically, you just put it on with uh, a turbo feature and a fast forward feature, and, or um, not a turbo and a fast forward, a, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, a turbo, like a turbo feature on the uh, button pressing and a uh, fast forward feature, and then press the button down with something and go watch a movie. It should take a couple of hours to get as many as you need. And that's like, that's pretty much all you need to do. There really is nothing to this mini game. It's not even so much as a game as it is just, you know, like I said, it's patience. You just have to wait around long enough. So anyway, now that I've demonstrated how this works, I'm going to do pretty much the rest of this off screen. Now, you are gonna wanna do a lot of this. There is a very specific reason you wanna do a lot of this and you can get some of the best items in the game from doing this because the uh, prize list will be updated from time to time throughout the course of the plot and we will be able to return here. So when we do return here, uh, we'll be able to get a whole bunch of stuff out of it. 
So I'm probably gonna run out here. Basically, I would check it every, you know, once in a while. As soon as you get double uh, sixes, as we saw before, we instantly lose. So I don't have anything left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reload my save file, build up to, you know, a few hundred, up my, uh, you know, the amount that I'm betting to like, you know, 50. And then once I get up to a thousand, I'll up it to a hundred. And then when I get it up to like, you know, 600 or something like that or uh 6000 I might up it to you know 500 per and as long as you just keep doing that and saving once you hit like these big milestones you should be fine um once you have say 20 or 30,000 and you're betting a thousand per you can do what I said and just put the uh, game on fast forward and set the turbo uh, what I'm going to do here Man, I haven't noted this yet, but if you go into your menu, you can load your save file right from uh, anywhere on the map, which is very nice. So we're gonna head back over here. And I'm going to demonstrate something uh, real quick here for you. Come on, there we go, uh, play the game. Basically, you come back in, you set things up for however you want it to uh, be set up so you can win the most amount of money. I'm gonna set it up for 10. And I want, yeah, that one for that one, that one for that one. Swap those two, swap those two. You can move them around some more if you want. Uh, like you can make that move too if you wanted to. Oops, no, not that one. Um, but it's entirely up to you. Uh, you're better, you have a higher chance of getting, um, higher chance of getting a victory in general like this. And I think that one extra step is just a little bit too far. This is a good middle ground and it seems to work for me. So anyway, we've got that set up. Let's see here, config, I believe it's in, no, it's not in there. It is in, oh geez, where the bloody hell is it again? Okay, now I remember where it is. It's in the uh, controller settings. So if you go to controller, it'll pause things for a moment there. Let's pull that up, make sure it's all on uh, screen there. And if you set your pad, you can identify a button in this case, the uh, this is my controller there. All you have to do, set turbo on, hit apply. And now I will just hold on. I'll put that right next to the mic. You can hear I'm not tapping it. Well, there you go. I already won 300. You know what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go save so that I don't have to go back to the small amount. But basically, that's what you can do. You can also use the uh, fast forward feature on uh, the PCSX2 emulator if you want to go even faster, which I will be using. And yeah, do this uh, for about two hours, watch a movie. Uh, the, the amount you're aiming for is about two to two and a half million medals. It's a lot of medals and it will take a little while to get there, but uh, it's worth it. And you will use every single one of them. So anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. In between now and next time, I will be doing this. Gotta find a movie to watch. That'll work, I'll go find something to watch. And yeah, I will see you guys with a whole crap ton more medals and about two, two and a half hours on my time and at the start of the next episode. So anyway, like I said, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.